so it's been a while. I haven't done any videos about Headway in a while, just because I've been busy. But as you may know already, Headway uh, 3.0 is a completely different animal than all the previous versions. And so over the next you know couple of weeks, I'm going to be putting together some videos on how to use all the new features of Headway 3.0. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the grid. Uh, basically the grid is a new concept in Headway 3.0 where you can use a grid approach to create layouts within a website. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, basically, when you log into your visual editor, you'll be in the grid mode um, by default. Okay, and as you can see, um, the website that we have here, this isn't really what the website looks like. We're going to put content in here in a second. But what you have is you have a system of columns and gutters. Okay, so the column is the gray thing right here, the gutter is the space in between the columns and you can set the column width okay now again this has nothing to do with what the site is going to look like it's basically a grid type of layout for you to put your blocks of content into okay and you'll see what i mean in just a second so column width you know if you kind of make these wider obviously the gray columns get wider you can uh, set the width in the gutter to be more narrow Okay, so you see how the white space in between these gutters have, have gotten narrower, all right? The content blocks that we drag in here, you'll see this in a second, basically it will snap to these columns. That's why we're kind of configuring this in a specific way. Um, and depending upon how wide you set your columns and your gutters, you will end up with the total width of the website. Okay, so in this case it's 834 pixels. That's a little bit too narrow, so I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Okay, we end up at 951. All right, just to, for demonstration purposes, I'll just leave it at that. Just know that you have a total of 24 columns going across with obviously 23 gutters in between these. All right, so you can do the math. Now, what do we do with this blank sheet of paper? All you do is you take your mouse and you just simply drag across the columns and then as soon as you deselect on your mouse, a box will come up that allows you to choose what type of content you want to put in that block. Okay, so in this case, we're going to just pick header. Okay, and then we're going to create the next block. I'm going to pull a block right here. Okay, I'm going to let go and I will say navigation. Okay, I can have my navigation right here. I can also drag and put a navigation underneath here all the way across if I wanted to or I could put the navigation across the top. I'm going to add uh, two blocks of content underneath here that are the same width and the great thing about knowing how many columns are across here, you know, we have 24 across is that we could basically do the math. So we could say, okay, great, I want to drag this all the way across and I'll go 12 columns, okay. Um, we simply deselect. I'm going to pick content, okay, and we can, I'm going to drag this down a little bit more, make sure that we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, that's not right, so I'm just going to drag it back one like that, okay. Then we have another box right here, I'm just going to drag this kind of equal size, deselect that, we have content. Okay. Now the content, by the way, these content blocks have um, a feature in them that's kind of automatic. It's called a fluid height. That means that the height of it, or you know, the vertical height of the of the block, will be dictated by the content that's inside of it. Okay. Now to configure the options for each block, you just simply click on this icon right here. Okay. And then down below, you can see all of the options within the specific block. Okay, so content block number 27, um, default behavior, and so forth. I'm going to hold off right now. Just wanted to show you the grid to start with, and then we're going to be getting into the, each block in upcoming tutorials on Headway videos. Okay, so that's it for now. Bye.